What's going on, guys? It's your boy, D-Man. And I don't get it. I don't get why it's such a big debate to Wizards fans on whether the Wizards should max Otto Porter. They need to give the boy his money. I don't understand what the big deal is. People say all these stats and how he's playing right now. That's the thing. With these max contracts, it's not about how they're playing at the moment. It's about what they're projected to do during the span of that contract, i.e. Bradley Bill. At the time, B didn't even know if he could stay healthy. This passing year was one of his first times really being healthy in his career. But he still got the max deal. Why? It's because of what he's projected to do during this max contract. That's why a lot of players people don't see as max worthy players are going to get the max regardless. That's just how the NBA is nowadays. Plus, like last season offseason, there was a lot of money, big money to players. You look at and say, huh? Why is he getting all this money? Boyan Bogdanovich wants $16 million per year. Per year. Who? Why? What is he? No. But that's just how it is nowadays. And also, second fact, John Wall, the biggest factor in this all. People want to say, oh, we don't want John Wall to leave. We don't want John this, John that. Well, why would you not want the Wizards to bring back Otto Porter? What does that say? Oh, we want the Wizards to go after Boogie Cousins when he's a free agent or do this and do that. No. You see what happened when the Wizards waited for Kevin Durant? See what happened then? Why wait? Why keep waiting? John Wall's about to hit the prime of his career. We as fans don't want to see the Wizards in another rebuild year. And if we keep waiting and don't get Boogie Cousins, we don't got Boogie Cousins, we don't got Otto Porter, what are we looking at? Who are we replacing Otto Porter with? Now John Wall leave, re-rebuilding again, and we suck. And now y'all crying and complaining about how we rebuilding. If we trying to impress John Wall, if the front office is trying to impress John Wall, why would they not bring one of their core young players back? Why? What does that say to John Wall if they do not bring Otto Porter back? Think about that. What are you saying? You think John Wall's crying about... Oh, he not deserving of max money. Paul, he wanted Paul George. Wizards try. Wizards didn't get him. Auto Porter next. Stop talking about these pipe dreams of Boogie Cousins. Oh, John Wall said he was going to come to D.C., but he got traded to New Orleans. Oh, well. Oh, well. Stop thinking about these pipe dreams of free agency, all these, these big free agents coming to D.C., boogie to D.C. You're just going to lead yourself to disappointment like KD to D.C. And if it don't happen, like I said, you're leaving yourself screwed with no auto porter and no boogie cousins. And now we're getting mad at Ernie again, even though Ernie has done some stupid stuff. We're mad at Ernie again because, oh, we didn't get Boogie Cousins. We were supposed to get Boogie Cousins. Maybe we don't have Otto Porter. Now what are we going to do? John Wall's going to leave. Look, sign Otto Porter, get Otto Porter his money, and stop playing, and let's build off the core. Otto Porter is a max player in today's NBA. He's not a LeBron. He's not a Steph. He's not a KD. That doesn't matter. In today's NBA, Otto Porter is a max player player he's going to get max money from a team it is going to be the wizards that's all i have to say like and subscribe and i'm out